Hey guys, this is Dude Dreamy here. So, I'm going to talk about a topic I haven't talked about in quite some time, and that's professional wrestling. My neck of the woods, guys. <laughs> but, I want to give my thoughts on how the fans reacted to the way WWE handled business this past weekend with the premiere of SmackDown on Fox and... Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, especially the the last match, the ending to Hell in a Cell, how people were really pissed off to the point where people were saying, I'm done with WWE this, I'm done with WWE that. I hope when people actually say this, they're being serious. Because sometimes I hear all the time from wrestling fans, especially on the internet, I hear all the freaking time, and yet they still give WWE attention. Granted, yes, you don't want to go on the USA Network or on Fox to watch their programming, but yet some of you always find a way to still give them attention. P perfect example, YouTube. You know they're making money off of you their videos on YouTube. And they're getting millions of views, oh, about hundred, hundreds of thousands of views, and there are times they get millions of views. And they're making money off it. You can see they have ads on there. And yes, I know about the whole ad pockets, but still, they're making some money. And when they had the video of Seth Rollins versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, at Hell in a Cell, they show a clip of it on their, on their YouTube channel. And you notice that there's more dislikes than likes on it. My thing is this is that. Why did you click on it in the first place? Just so you can post a comment. Just so you can put a like or a dislike on it. And you say to everyone. I'm done with WWE. You're still supporting WWE on YouTube. They're still getting some money and revenue. For what they're doing. And despite the fact that they get more likes than. More dislikes than likes. They're getting the views. They're getting attention. And even if you go on Twitter, and maybe they don't make money on Twitter or Instagram, you guys still give them attention. There's a thing called good or bad at attention. It's still attention. And I hear constantly from a lot of people, even from um, famous commentators, how they're so displeased with how WWE did business that weekend. And they're saying, you know, I'm done with WWE. I'm going to cancel WWE Network. I'm going to go and watch AEW. And the way I look at it is, do that. I mean, you fans had the power to actually turn this thing around with WWE. You had the power this whole freaking time. What, now that AEW's out on TNT, all of a sudden, now we're going to start doing an exodus? You, there, are so, there are so many alternatives to professional wrestling. There's so many other alternatives. You have Ring of Honor, New Japan, <laughs> you know, the, the companies like that, CCW, even Impact Wrestling, even though Impact Wrestling's kind of um, not, at, not at its best like it used to. But those are alternatives to wrestling besides watching the WWE. And we have all the wrestling we can get on our fingertips with the power of the internet. So why is it that people still want to complain? When you know that when it comes to pro wrestling fans, hardcore wrestling fans, want more than just what WWE is giving out. And yet you still feed in to what they are producing. Whether it be on the network television or even on YouTube and of course some of these uh, YouTube uh, commentators on professional wrestling would watch Raw and Smackdown and the pay-per-views and NXT so that they can give content on their channel well guess what guys there are plenty of other wrestling feds out there now that AEW is out there's a huge alternative go watch them instead instead of freaking complaining and still feeding into the wwe 
You know, it's like it's, it's like it's a moot point now. It's it's just, it's like what Ryback was saying. It's like stop watching WWE, go to TNT, and watch AEW. And AEW even has a second show on YouTube, AEW Dark, so you can get that wrestling fix that you've been thirsting for. But I can understand for some wrestling fans who, even though they say that they are done with WWE. Some of their favorite wrestlers are still in the WWE banner, like AJ Styles, um, Rey Mysterio, Cesaro, and many others. I get that. But if you really feel passionate that WWE needs to change, then hit it where it hurts. Stop feeding into them just so you can give negative comments. The biggest negative comment you can give to the WWE is by not giving them any attention, guys. Hit it where it hurts. Simple as that. And one other thing. One other thing. And, that's, and this goes for all the internet wrestling fans who make commentary and content on YouTube or on social media and whatnot. If you go to a live wrestling event, and Vincent Man comes out, don't give him a pop. Don't sing to his song to, to his theme song, No Chance in Hell. Don't start doing this. Boo the crap out of Vince. Because every time I see Vince comes out, people are cheering. People are happy to see him. And granted, yes, he, you know, he comes once in a blue moon. But still, guys, the same fans who complain about how this man is doing business, how this man is out of touch, are still kissing his ass when he comes out at a live event. Instead of taking it out on the wrestlers who pretty much are just doing what they're told, and yes, there may be some like Seth Rollins maybe saying some things on Twitter that some wrestling fans are not happy with. And there are other circumstances. But don't take it out on the wrestlers. Take it out on the guy who's pulling all the strings. Where a lot of people say, Oh, Vincent Man at the last minute is changing the script at the last minute at the show. Because he wants certain people to be on top. And certain decisions must be made and stuff. Boo the shit out of him. Please, guys. So you can give him the message. But by cheering him on it's not really sending them a message by booing the wrestlers you can tell it's not working it's not working for him to change you can boo Seth Rollins boo Roman Reigns boo John Cena all you want but it's not going to change unless you guys give the same type of heat to Vincent Mann that you give to guys like Seth Rollins to Roman Reigns to John Cena Give him the same amount of heat to show him we're not satisfied. We want it better or else we're gone. We're going to take our business elsewhere and go to other alternatives like Ring of Honor, like New Japan, like Impact Wrestling, CZW, Major League Wrestling, and most importantly, AEW. Do that, guys. And hopefully things will change. That's my thoughts on it. I'd like to know what you guys think. So this dude, Dreamer, always dream big.